The All Ordinaries Index dropped more than 1%, but half that fall was due to the Commonwealth Bank and half its fall was due to the payment of the dividend of $2.22. The other half was a delayed reaction to the $5 billion capital raising that was announced last week. Now ANZ, which has also tapped the market for money, reported an increase in its nine-month profit today, but added that loan impairments had also increased, which investors didn't like one bit, so all the bank shares fell. But the big news today was that the directors of Asciano, the Australian ports and railway company named after a pretty little Italian village near Siena, have recommended a $12 billion takeover offer from the Canadian infrastructure investor Brookfield, and the shares jumped 7%. But retailer Dick Smith was buried after releasing a slightly disappointing profit result and funeral director Invocare was discounted for the same reason. Here's a graph of the two banks that have raised capital so far, CBA and ANZ. Now they're both down exactly the same so far this year, 10%. The other two big banks, NAB and Westpac, have yet to announce their capital raisings, if they're going to, and they're down 5% this year. Bit of a chunky fall in Shanghai today, more than 3%, but other global markets were relatively subdued. And the Australian dollar is down very slightly against the US dollar, simply because the US dollar went up. The Australian dollar would have gone up otherwise because the Reserve Bank board meeting minutes came out today and suggested that the RBA directors are more upbeat than they have been for a while. Now this one here is just one of a series of comments that had a glass half full tone about the Australian economy. Domestically, they said, economic activity had been generally more positive in recent months. They even said the risks in China have receded. Who knew? And that's finance.